Grade 12 IVIT Normalization 3. Um, before we carry on with normalization, we need to learn a few buzzwords. Dependencies, duplicate data, redundant data, and derived data. Dependencies is when one field is dependent on another. Um, the notation that is used is A with an arrow pointing to B. This means that A causes B, but we say that B is dependent on A. So the one the arrow is pointing to is the one that is dependent on the other one. But you can see why the arrow points from A to B, because B is dependent on A. An example would be the Ford Cougar. Ford Cougar is made by Ford. The model of the car is the Cougar. So Ford causes Cougar, or Cougar is dependent on Ford. It doesn't work the other way around. If you know it's a Ford, you can't necessarily tell it's a Cougar because Ford makes many other models of cars. Luckily, they do. More, another dependencies example would be a pet table. So we'd have the name of the pet, the animal type, the color, and the year of birth. So the name of the animal leads to the animal type. For example, Bibish is a cat, and um, so we say that the animal type is dependent on the name. Also, the animal's color is dependent on the name, and the animal's year of birth is dependent on the name. So, another table would be the tables of CDs. We have the CD number, we've just numbered them 1, 2, 3, 4. These are just somebody's collection of CDs and they've listed them. There are the titles and the artist of each CD. If the title is dependent on the CD number, which is the case, which is correct? Do you have title points to CD number or CD number points to title? So the CD number points to title, which is correct. A partial dependency is when a field's value is dependent on only part of a composite key. Do you remember a composite key is a primary key which contains two or more fields? So an example would be the table orders. This table stores data about orders placed at a stationary company. Orders are placed by a client, and each order must have an order number and can contain a few products. So we've got all these columns, order number, item number, order date, client number, product code, description, quantity, and unit price. So um, there is a composite key, which is order number and item number. Each order will be placed on a certain date. So you can see that the order date is only dependent on the order number, which is a partial dependency, because it's not all dependent on the item number. There can be many items in each table. Um, and the client number is also only dependent on the order number and not on the item number. If you look at it, you'll see that order number 100 has three items, a ruler, an A4 book, and a sharpener, and the quantities and the unit price of each are shown. Duplicate data is when a record has the same value for a field as another record. Duplicate data is not wrong or bad, and it's not necessary to remove duplicate data. In the example here below, you have the surname Shaikh, which is repeated twice, just because it happens to be two people's names. That's not wrong. Or the date of birth, 1103-2000, is repeated twice. And um, that is also not incorrect. It just happens to be those two people's dates of birth. Redundant data. Um, this is no longer needed or useful and superfluous data. Redundant data is caused by repeating groups in first normal form. For example, in this table, students, which is a list of students and the classes they are studying, 
you'll see William Hartnell occurs three times. And that is incorrect. It is superfluous. And you want to do away with it. It leads to anomalies and it must be removed. Derived data is when one field is used to calculate another. Examples are getting, deriving a person's age from their date of birth or calculating an average from a set of marks. And generally derived data is not stored because you can calculate it. So the second normal form rules are the database must already be in first normal form before you start putting it into second normal form. And the second rule, there must be no partial dependencies. Remember, partial dependencies is when a field is dependent on only part of a composite key. Remember the first normal form rules, remove all repeating column groups, all data is atomic, and ensure each table has a primary key. An example of taking a table from first to second normal form is this table which is in first normal form. It has a primary key which is a composite key. It's the table of students that we saw just now which are studying for a BSc IT and all the subjects that they take or classes they take. So number and class is the primary key. And which fields are partially dependent because they're only dependent on one of the fields in the primary key, first name and surname. So we, in our notation, we say number leads to first name and number leads to surname. The student's name is not at all dependent on the class they're taking. So to take this table to, to second normal form, we split the table into two separate tables. The fields which are only dependent on number, we put them into a separate table. So we've got table students, which has number, first name and surname. And the other table will only have the composite key in, which is number and class. So all the partial dependencies have now gone. What have we achieved? As we go down the individual columns in each table, we should not find redundant data which leads to anomalies, especially the update anomaly. The only data that is redundant is the field that provides the link between the tables, but the repetition is not wrong because it does not cause any anomalies. You need to try and normalize these to second normal form. Um, this is a, a table of orders, which we saw earlier. And the second example is table tours, um, which you need to try and do. Number one's answer is shown here. Table orders will have the order number, order date and client number in the first table and table ordered items, which is all of the rest of the data, including the composite key as well, we put in the second mm. table. Number two's answer, you'll have table tours, which is a tour destination, the number of days and the cost in the one table. These are the partial dependencies. And then the other table will have table tours date, the tour destination, departure date, guide ID, guide name, client ID and client name in the other table. 